I'm Joanne Ramos, the author of The Farm. Imagine you're in the most luxurious spa that you've ever seen. It's got everything from daily massages to organic food prepared by private chefs. And the thing is, it's all for free. The catch is that the women who stay there for nine months can't leave the grounds. They're totally monitored and they're cut off from their daily lives as they dedicate themselves to producing the perfect baby for someone else. All of these women are surrogates. This is The Farm. So I'm here at Waterstones Piccadilly and I'd like to share with you three books that have meant something to me. The first is Beloved by Toni Morrison. Uh, this was the first book when I was in university that really took hold of me. Uh, it is uh, set in uh, after the Civil War in the US in the Reconstruction period and it's made up of many stories but the central one is about Setha, a former slave in her 30s and her daughter Denver and their house which is haunted by the two-year-old daughter of Setha who was murdered in a horrible way uh, when they were still slaves. Uh, the book alternates among many characters, flips back and forth between the present and their era of slavery. It's a difficult read because of the material, but it's powerfully told and important. My second pick is Forest Dark by Nicole Krauss. Uh, this book is actually two stories. The first one is about Jules Epstein, an elderly, uh, rich philanthropist in New York who gets a compulsion to give away everything he owns, from his possessions to his money, and is drawn back to Israel where he was born. The second story is about a successful young novelist named Nicole, whose marriage is foundering, and uh, the, she's also drawn back to Israel for reasons of her own. The two stories actually don't intersect, but they illuminate each other. And the book is really a beautiful story about how stories can bind, and how living outside of a story and getting a little bit lost can be the way that you find meaning. Okay, my last pick is a Writer's Diary by Virginia Woolf. Uh, when I was writing The Farm, it actually took a year and a half for me to get into the story, and what kept me going uh, was this book more than any other. Uh, it is an edited version of her journals. Uh, anything that's related to her writing is in there, and it really throbs with her curiosity how alive Virginia Woolf was, how she noticed everything. It also sheds light onto her creative process of her great masterpieces like To the Lighthouse and The Waves and Mrs. Dalloway. Uh, it shows her doubts, her enthusiasms, the seedlings of her ideas that became these great works. I really believe that for any writer, wannabe writer, or lover of good writing, uh, this is essential.